struggling to track and manage assets in your organization, then look no further. The new custom label feature in Service Desk Plus helps you create your own custom labels, print them, and stick them onto your assets so that you can efficiently track and manage them. Now let's see how this looks in Service Desk Plus. To create your own custom labels, you need to first go down to the Assets tab and then scroll down to Barcode or QR Code and select Generate Code. Next, click on the Configure and Print Labels icon and this opens up your menu where you can create your custom labels. You can add your codes either manually or sequentially. If you're adding the codes manually, you can add them separated by commas. And if you're doing it sequentially, you can add a prefix. In this case, I'm going to add iMac. The starting from number 01, count of five assets, and I can add a suffix if necessary. And then I can choose whether it is a barcode label or a QR code label. Let's go with the QR code and then select our label. Now we have our barcodes generated. And based on the information that I have added to my label, I need to add those details here. In this case, I want to add the serial number for each of my iMacs. Once I've added my serial numbers, I can click on continue to print. And just like that, all my labels have been generated with the information that I require. Now I can directly print it or I can print a test print and see how it looks. Now let's see how you can create your own custom labels. In this case, we're going to see how we can create a custom label with a QR code. Let's first add the name and description. The first thing we need to do is specify the label size, both the width and the height. Based on your requirements and the size of your label, you can specify it right over here. The next step is to add the different elements and data into your label. So these are all the different asset fields and consumable fields that are available to you. And based on your requirement, you can either drag and drop these asset fields into your label like this. Or you can right click and insert the data fields that you want on your label. In case the label is too small to drag and drop the asset fields. You also have a couple of other options available to you when you right click on any of these fields. So you can change the field right from here. You can hide the label or you can move the label either to the top or to the left. And you can also choose to copy this style and paste it within your label so that it's easy for you to build your custom label. So let's go ahead and change the field from asset type to serial number. And just like that, I have changed the asset field and now I want to hide the label so that only the serial number is visible. And just like that, it is done. Now I can drag and drop this field wherever I want so that it looks aesthetically pleasing on my label and so that it's easy for me to get the information that I need from this label. You can also choose the font, the color, the size of the text and so on over here on the left hand side. Now let's look at the different elements that are available to us. You can add a new section to your label, you can add text fields, you can add a custom image, you can add vertical or horizontal lines and additionally you can also add a barcode to your label if necessary. You can just easily drag and drop the elements that you want to add them to your label. This way I can create my custom labels with the information that I need by adding images, sections, lines and various other elements. And that's how easy it is for you to use the canvas available to create the label that you need.
This canvas is the same for both QR codes and barcodes. So what are you waiting for? Go try out the new feature in Service Desk Plus Cloud and take control of your IT asset management in your organization.